So we have several servers on-prem which are physical and we want to evaluate them in order to understand a bit more about them before we move them to Azure. In order to do that, we're going to utilize Azure Migrate Server Assessment. So what we have to do first of all is go into the Azure portal and the Azure Migrate Blade. Here we can start to create a new project that will hold our information. Now we select a new resource group for this project, we give the project a name and we select a geography where we want the metadata we're going to collect to be stored in. Now we can add the assessment tool and as we're only doing an assessment we're not going to add a migration tool at this stage and then we create this project. Now that the project's created, we want to discover these servers. And in order to do that, we tell Azure Migrate that our servers are not virtualized. And it tells us that we need to install a bit of software and run that on our server. So we download that installer file, which comes in a zip format. Now there's a key stage here once you've downloaded this zip file, you can actually run the cert util program and get a hash file that will then be able to be compared against the official documentation so that you can check that it's an official and secure file that you've downloaded. We then unzip or extract that zip file and store the files locally for us to utilize. Once the files are extracted, what we want to do is open up our elevated PowerShell command we navigate to the directory where the files are stored and then we run the PowerShell script. Now the PowerShell script will run through all the necessary installs in terms of getting the Azure Migrate server assessment tooling installed for us. When the installation is finished, it will automatically open up a browser for you and launch the Azure Migrate appliance software. Now you have to accept the license terms and the software will check for certain things like connectivity to the internet and make sure that the time is synced with a time server. It'll also check just to double check that there are no updates required for the Azure Migrate applying software itself. Once these checks have taken place, the next stage is to register your Azure Migrate appliance with your Azure subscription. And this is where you put in your Azure credentials and tell it what subscription, what resource group and what Azure Migrate project you want to associate this appliance on-prem with in Azure. Now the appliance is registered, what we want to do is provide the tool with some credentials that can access and query our servers on-prem. We now want to input the information about the physical servers that we want to assess. Once those details are validated and the appliance is sure that it can connect to them, we can start and um, save the discovery information. We now have some details being pushed up to the Azure portal. So if we go back into it, we can start to see that we've now got four servers that have discovered within our environment. And we can see some basic information is starting to be collected around those servers. What we now want to do is create an assessment that tells us a bit more information, can tell us whether these servers are able to be hosted within Azure and if they are, how much money it would actually cost us per month based on compute and storage. So we create this assessment and there are a few details that we have to put in. We give it an assessment name and we can configure the properties that the assessment is going to use to calculate the charges per month. We can change things like the target location where the servers would be hosted if they were to be moved into Azure, whether we would re use reserved instance pricing for these virtual machines, what virtual machine sizes that we would like to leverage within our environment, 
and also what currency we would like the report to be pushed out into. We tell the assessment what servers we want to assess. In this case, we want to assess all four servers that we've just discovered. And we create that assessment. Now, depending on how many servers you are assessing at any one time, the report may take a few minutes to generate. However, once it's generated, you can go into it and see what the output is. Now these reports are interactive within the Azure portal or you even have the ability to export it into an Excel spreadsheet. But here we have the breakdown of whether our servers are ready to be hosted within Azure and are compatible. And we also have the breakdown of the storage and compute costs per month. 